Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about the daily struggles of running an app agency. Okay, so today I want to answer a question that came into our Facebook page about a week ago. This is from Chajark Harges. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name. I'm really bad at that. Uh, he says, hey Eric, I love your videos and your advices you're giving to me and other app developers. It's very helpful that you talk a lot about how to interact with clients and what their problems are. Thanks. Uh, but I would like to hear more about your problems and your daily struggle. What are your biggest problems you have to face in your app agency? And so I followed up with it. So what do you mean, like client problems? And he said, yeah, just things, you know, uh, client problems, time management, everything like that on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, I'm a bit nervous to answer this because in order to do this, I have to talk about some of my shortcomings. And I know what my shortcomings are. I'm really bad at delegating. I'm really bad about saying no to things and always try to squeeze too much into the day. So my hope is that you and our clients Everything looks like it's smooth and effortless. You know, we're, we're just gliding through. Everything's just clicking, right? But a lot of times we have lots of issues and a lot of frustration. So, so when I come into the office in the morning, I'll go through and process through the inbox. And a lot of stuff is just junk, you know, or things that are that I'm included in. But then I'll go through and create a. I try to get my inbox down to zero every morning, and I'll, I put everything into a Trello board. So I have I have my own Trello board where I have things that need to be done this week, things that need to be done today, and then, um, and then things that maybe we'll do at some point and things that I need to read. And then there's also other folders in, the, uh, in Gmail where, I, you know, the action folder, the, the waiting for folder, and the read folder. So all of that stuff's just so I can try to get some semblance of what needs to be done Right, but any given day, we have lots of things that, that could be frustrating. We're trying to squeeze everything into the time. So, uh, like we might have, we might have, we might have client issues. We might have a client project where they come back and they say, uh, we notice that one user is having this issue, you know, over and over again, where it's, uh, you know, the the app is losing. Um, is losing session state or something like that and we have to look into that and figure out what's different about that one type of phone that's different from the others right we may not still be in, in warranty on the application but like i said i have trouble saying no so I said, yeah we'll have a look at it right we might have um we might have clients that are say like we might have a project that's running late a little bit so you know we have to do all that kind of stuff we have issues with developers so there's always Issues with developers where they, um, you know, things things might be running l slow, or they need a few extra days, and I have to be the one to go through and say, okay, what do you need the extra days for? Why are we Why are we off course? And um, you know, because I, I remember what it's. I mean, I'm a developer too, so I'm I'm very understanding about these kind of things. So you know, if they if it's a really good reason, I say, okay, no, okay, cool, I I can understand that. But you still have to be the one who goes back and tells the client, and then. You know, that could be difficult. Um, we have, you know, we have the, the internal team, so I might have a, a team member who doesn't have anything to do this week, and but they're very important next week, so I have to make sure that you know it's. We don't want them sitting around with nothing to do, so it gives us like a nice challenge. So always thinking about that kind of thing, right? Uh, we have family issues, so like I have. You know, three days a week I cook dinner, and my kids, none of my kids like the same thing. So, I, it, amongst everything else, you're making all these decisions, you're looking at this, you're looking at that, and you're just like, sometimes it just feels like a roller coaster. And I gotta think, what am I gonna cook for dinner tonight? Right? I, when was the last time I made spaghetti? Uh, like two days ago. Oh, what, what else can I make? What, you know, so I'm trying to think about all these kind of things. I know, and every time I do that, I think, you know, one of these days I'm gonna make my, my schedule for the week, everything I'm gonna cook. But I never do. Time just gets away from me. So a lot of the times it is just you know you're, you, there's you know, thing after thing after thing, and then with the, the, the phone rings, we get new projects in. We're talking about new things. People will ask a lot of questions. Uh, we have uh, you know, uh, clients may ask for new features, and we have to manage that. So um, you know how much will it cost to do this? How much will it cost to do that? So there's all that kind of stuff, and it really is a case of there's it's taking on too much work and uh, and everything like that. So you know, I need to get more people in and I need to get be better at delegating things. And it's something that we're doing. We're increasing, we're improving the processes all the time. So it can be very, very stressful. And a few months ago, somebody sent a message saying, 
Eric, I don't understand why you work with clients if you have your own passive income because that's the other thing. So Google Play might send something through and say, oh, we got to update these apps too. And you know, who can do that? Is it just me who can do that? Or can we get somebody else to do that? Uh, uh, everything else, if we bring somebody else on, because it sounds easy, like I'll just hire a developer and then they'll do it, but then they got to go through and get familiar with all the other code. And is, that, is the cost of doing that, is that going to be easier than just doing it myself and um, you know things like that. So it's always thinking about these these types of things and always setting the priorities for the day. And then there's a few things that never get pushed, right? There's things that I uh, that I say that's uh, this has to be done every day. One of them is this video, right? If if I if this video was pushable, then it would get pushed every day. It'd be like I just uh, I was going to do a video yesterday, but I didn't have time. No, the, the video has to be that's it. Right? The video has to be done. I, because I made it important, right? The same way going to the gym is important, right? And if you see somebody who goes to the gym every day, they could have loads of other things to do, but that's, that's non-movable. They, they, they do that every day, and that's something that gets, the gym is something that gets pushed a lot for me. Like, it's like, well, I was gonna go to the gym, but I guess I'll work on this. So, so there's a lot of struggles, and sometimes it feels like, you know, everything, everything is my fault, right? Everything is my fault, and it's uh, lots of things. It feels like sometimes it's pushing in on you, everything like that. So it could be very stressful sometimes, or, you know, but I'm, my whole goal in life is that's what I do for clients. That is the, the value that I add, right? If there's a technical problem, I need to know the solution to, for it for the developers. If there's a... Um, if there's a scheduling problem, I need to be able to make that work for the clients. I need to make sure that, that, you know, that I take on all the headaches and that's what I do and then we do it again the next day. And I'm always working to try to improve this and at one day it will be a lot more efficient. But sometimes it's just, sometimes it is very stressful and sometimes there are mornings where I wake up and I think, oh, go into work and we, we, why, do we, why do we say yes to that project? Why did I say I would get that done by Wednesday and it's Wednesday today? Because when I said it, it was Thursday last week and, wait, and next Wednesday seemed ages away at the time, but now we're here already. All right? And there's all these kind of things and I'm constantly apologizing and I'm all constantly saying, uh, you know, I'm sorry for the delay to this email and all this kind of stuff, right? But all these frustrations why keep doing it? Why keep doing it? Like when somebody said, why would you still work with clients? Sometimes I think, whew. But you know what? I get to be the owner of Overpass, right? I get to come into work and the, our video editor says, hey, I edited the video from yesterday. What do you think? And I think, that is awesome. I get to come in and my designer says, I've been working on the mock-up for this new client project. What do you think? And I think, that looks really cool. I can't wait to show the client that. I get to have the clients call up and say, Eric, are really pleased with this latest build. You know, tell the developers how happy we are. And I get to be the ones to tell them. And I get to be, when the developers say, Eric, we're really struggling with this problem. You know, and it's like a really complicated mentally thing. I'm the one who gets to jump in there and do that. So it's, it's very rewarding to do it, but it's, it's probably not the most efficient system, right? There's so many things we do that I am happy with the efficiency of it. There's other things where it's the, the reason we lack the efficiency is due to me. So it's like I've I'm, I'm been re reading, you know, I read this book years ago. So I, I follow all these productivity things. I've read so many books on productivity, always trying to do new things. I always try to make everything look seamless, but sometimes it is a, it, it, it does, it feels like we got too much going on at the moment. We need to start saying no to some clients, which is always always hard to reject a client. It's always somebody calls up and uh, or I'll get contacted by the salesmen, you know, the cold callers and everything. They'll call up and say, hey, you know, do you need help with your lead generation strategy? Like, no, nah, not at the moment. We don't. We, we, got, we got enough going on, right? But we always have to think, how could we grow as a company? And a lot of, and I, when I talk about talking about my shortcomings, this is exactly it. The roadblock and, and the stumbling point in all of this is me a lot of the times. It's, you know, do we bring somebody else on and we brought people on and I've got people who do uh, a lot of things in our team and it's just thinking about what can we take and, and give to somebody else and delegate it. And so there's a lot of things that I just, I need to work on, but it is very rewarding, right? It, and, uh, and sometimes I do think, I do think maybe we should just stop doing client work altogether. Maybe we'll just work on our own applications. We'll come in and it'll be leisurely and we'll just say, what, do we, what should we do today? Should we, uh, let's work on this new function here and we'll release this to the app store and everything will be nice and slow and, and boring, right? This would, you know, there would be nobody, you know, I can't, every day I get to help people, you know, but it's, 
but a lot of times it feels like there's so much going on. Dad, can you drive me to this thing? Oh man, I've, but I've got this meeting. Or, you know, can you come out and meet us at these offices? Sure, absolutely, great, yes, great, right? And I take a lot of satisfaction with our clients when they thank me. They say we're really happy with the work so far. You know, and you know, like I said, if they, sometimes I feel like if they knew, if they knew all the things that were moving around underneath, they would be like, you know, I, I don't know. But my my goal or my whole job is to make sure that they don't see all that kind of stuff. It's for them, they, they have an effortless thing, they got a client, you know, they, they, the client project, and that, I think that should be the same with, with every agency. And like I said, there are days where I just say, that's it, no more agency work. Well, I mean, we're just gonna, we're gonna, no more clients, we're just gonna do our own apps, but we'll see, it changes from day to day. We, and I'm always trying to improve it. So anyway, I hope that's been helpful. And those of you guys, you, you can see how, how awful things are sometimes. And uh, that's it for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow.